Hey, what's up traders from around the world? This is William from Bearable Traders and I've got something so special for you today. This is the long-awaited Kyle's Hotkeys for DOS. This is gonna be a complete walkthrough on how to set them up in DOS and how to use them and how to understand them. Before that, let me just give huge credit to Kyle from our chat room, you're the man, and to another trader who helped me to transition, Robert H., a moderator from our community. He transitioned first, then I started to transition, and I've shared it with a lot of people. And here's what I can tell you. I guarantee you, some of you who are watching with, some of you who are watching right now, this will be a breakthrough in your trading. I don't know who it will be. I don't know which one of you, which many of you, will this reach out to and improve your trading vastly. But I can guarantee you that it'll be a lot of you because I've shared this with so many people and other traders I know have, and it has vastly improved their trading. So this is what it does. Basically, these hotkeys equalize the risk. You guys know when you've been in the, here you've traded and you've had like three or four amazing trades and you take one bad trade and somehow you're like down. I remember in the beginning when I would trade lots of like 100 share size, you know, I'd think, okay, I'm a new trader, 100 share size, I can easily calculate um, how much I'm going to make, how much I'm going to lose. It's easy to put in the hockey. It's just easy to understand 100 share size. And then you're right, two trades, three trades on MU, AMD, Twitter, something small like that. And then you take 100 shares on Tesla, on BABA, on something that's a high price. And before you know it, you're one loser vastly takes out all of your winners and you just you don't understand it as a new trader it's just not crystal clear what's going on but really you're not equalizing risk what if we could have a hotkey that equalized your risk no matter how far your stop away was whether it was one cent or whether it was two dollars no matter high, how high priced the stock is whether it's three hundred dollars or five dollars what if we could have a hockey that could calculate the number of shares that could calculate the bid and ask, so you don't have to worry about that, and that could calculate a risk per trade, meaning if you only want to lose $5 per trade, if you only want to lose $20 per trade, $100 per trade, $5,000 per trade, it doesn't matter. But what if you could hit a single hotkey that calculates all that for you so you don't have to think about the math, you don't have to think about where, where again, the bid and ask is, how far the stop away is, you know? we have a hotkey right here that can do that for you and we're going to share it with all of you so it's going to walk you through this will be a complete tutorial okay and what you need to remember is that you can use these hotkeys to your advantage or you can abuse these hotkeys just like anything it's not going to guarantee to fix your trading but it will guarantee give a lot of you a refresher, an understanding of, wow, how important is this risk management? How important is my risk per trade? Where you guys have always thought you want to do that. Maybe you have a spreadsheet, you try to calculate, okay, if I'm in Tesla, maybe I'll get 50 shares. If I'm in MU, I'll get 100 shares. And you do your best to average it out. But with this hockey, if you want to risk exactly, an exact amount, $22 per trade, we're gonna teach you how to do that right here, no matter your setup, no matter the stock, no matter where it is, no matter how pr how high price, no matter the time of day, this hotkey will equalize the risk on every trade, no matter what. Let's get into this, Let, let's share with you guys how this works. Okay, let's get into the mechanics of exactly how these hotkeys work in the market. And first we need to create the hotkey. So, in DOS, open up DOS, click on setup, and then click hotkey, okay? Now we need to add a new hotkey. So down here, it says add new item, click that. Now we have the script builder, you can follow this exactly. We're just gonna do this with long $20 risk, name it anything you want. Hotkey, I'm gonna use control N, and I am holding control, then I click N in the hotkey. And then in this script, in the script, so in the description of the YouTube video you're watching right now, there's gonna be at the very top of the description, it's gonna say long, and then under that it's gonna be the hotkey script. And then under that it's gonna say short, and then it's gonna be the hotkey script. All you need to do is copy the exact script for the long or the short for this to work. And so you copy that, 
right click here, click paste. Okay, it's going to give you this exact script I'm using. So now here's the important part. I'm going to put this in with only a $20 risk in the YouTube video. So in case anyone has an error or they don't change it on accident, that it's not going to be that high, but change it. This is the only number you need to change to change your risk right here where it says 20. If you want to risk $5, you put in five. This is the dollar amount you're risking. If you want to risk $100, you put in that. If you want to risk $1,000 per trade, that's the number you change right there. But for the point of this video, we're going to use 20. Okay. Then you hit down here, you click commit. Now you're going to see control N is now a hotkey with the script. Okay. And it's long $20. Okay. So then hit okay. Okay. So now let's look at the mechanics of exactly how this works. Let's say we see T here. Okay. This is T. We see this is a double bottom on the five minute, just made a new five minute high. I'm not saying I'm analyzing this high, what I'm just using an example. Okay. Let's say I want to get in long. Notice here the level two, the bid and the ask. So the ask is 37.25. So this is to fill me on the ask like most of our hotkeys. What I do is let's say if my stop is the low a day, notice right here, you see how that's highlighted 37.17. If I double click that and now I hit my hotkey control N, and remember, I'm in my simulator account just for practicing here. And it's a two twenty dollar risk. Okay, I've got twenty dollars of risk. So I got filled at an average cost of thirty seven twenty five, which was the ask at the time. Now you see over here, my stop right here is thirty seven seventeen. The stop was sent to the market with my entry order. So it's in there. If I'm wrong, the stop's already there. And that is a market stop. It's not a limit stop. It's a market stop that's sent to the market. Okay. Now let's calculate how much I'm actually risking. So my entry 37.25. My stop was set for 37.17. And then the number of of shares I got was C shares the shares I have right now is 250 and the quantity for the stop was 250. So 250, bam, that is a $20 risk. Okay. So on this stock, that's one cent spread. I put my stop, you know, about eight cents or so. I am risking exactly $20 right there. Perfect. Okay. So that is exactly what we want the risk to be very, very close. Let's try something though where we have a higher price stock with a larger spread. So I'm just gonna don't worry about what I'm doing here exactly. It's not part of the tutorial, but I'm just gonna cancel. We'll talk about it later. I'm gonna cancel the the order and then I'm gonna close the position because this is just sim. It's just to show you how the hotkeys work. Let's look at Tesla. I don't think it's gonna go past this area of consolidation for whatever reason. I think it's gonna hold the view up. So I'm gonna double click my stop right here. Remember this, you see that not that number, the 231.12, that's the low a day about. Double click that, hit my hotkey, control N. And before I do that, notice the spread is 14 cents on this, but I should get filled on the ask, 231.63. Yep, okay, I hit the hotkey, got filled on the ask at 231.63. Remember the last one I got 250 shares, but now I only got 38 shares. Okay. So I have 38 shares at this average cost and notice the stop was perfectly at 231.11. So let's see if I am, uh, if I have my entry of 231.63 and my stop as my stop is 231.11 and then it got me the number of shares 38. Look at that. I just got to double click. I didn't have to do the calculations of how many shares, what was the ask, all of that stuff. It does it for me. It is a beautiful thing and it's risking the exact same amount, whether it's a one cent spread on a stock that's in the you know, 20, 30, 40 range, or if it's a 15 cent spread on the stock that's in the 200 range. Okay. It's amazing. So you see, I have that order in the market. If it hits this, I'm going to be stopped out and I'm at 231.11. Okay. So you can see here the 
the unrealized here is getting close to 20. Now, also note that you have to deal with slippage, but that's not a function of the hotkey. With any type of hotkey you're doing when you're getting it in the ask and you have to deal with the slippage, that's part of it. Okay, so when you have a high slippage, you're gonna lose more than you intend on anything. Because if you have to get out on the bid, you're losing that spread, okay? So that's part of anything. That is not a function of these hotkeys. It's a function of trading, so don't be scared out by that. Now within that, you might just wanna play stocks that have a small spread so you don't have to deal with slippage as much. But in this case, you would have to deal with slippage. So it might be a little over $20, not because of the hotkey, but because of the spread and the slippage, okay? So let's say, oh man, I think it's gonna hold that level. Look at that. I want to get in again, okay? I want to have the same stop of 231.11. I'm going to double click that again, and I'm going to hit the control N, okay? So you see this? This is where you got to be very careful. It submits, you, it, 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 it totals your share. Now I have 138 shares, but I have two stops. The first stop will stop me out at 138, where it'll sell shares to to get me to zero, but I also have this stop. So if you at the original stop, so if you ever go in a second time, you need to click, you need to cancel the order from the first stop, which is very simple to do. You just hit the X cancel. Okay. So now let's recalculate this based on my second order here. My entry is 231.39. That's the average now. Whoops, sorry. That's the average of both entries. My stop is still the same at 231.11. And now I have 138 shares. It should be close to 40, right? Because I just basically did it twice. Look at that. I entered in twice. I'm risking 20 once, 20 twice. I have now 138 shares versus 38 shares. And it just recalculates my risk for the second entry. I have a total of two times getting in, which should be 20 times two, which is 40, which is, you know, 39 is pretty gosh darn close. Um, so it's a really, really great, really great method to learn how to manage your risk, to learn how to focus on just trading setups rather than worrying about the share size, how much you have to risk, what the spread is, what the slippage is, what's the ask. It does, I mean, the spread you always have to deal with and the slippage, but with the ask and the stop and you don't have to put in the market, it's all done for you. Now all I need to do is put in limit orders, which is not part of this tutorial on the hockeys, but I can put in limit orders. You can just partial out however you normally want to partial out. Okay. It's a pretty wonderful thing. All right. So now just my hockeys, if I want to cancel all orders, again, this isn't really part of it, but I have a hockey that says cancel all orders. So I hit X and you'll see that to cancel a stop order, I can click the X right here, or I can just hit escape. Sorry, the montage has to be selected if I hit escape. Okay, so now I'm st I'm still holding shares, but I canceled. Now if I just, just if anyone doesn't know, I have a panic escape button, which is shift escape, which will close down all of my positions. And I'm just going to click that just to get rid of it. Shift escape. So you see now it just, it just got out of my position. You can see right there. Okay, now let's quickly do the same thing for a short. We go back in to the hotkeys, set up hockey. And then remember in the description of the YouTube video, you're just gonna copy and paste the short script, but I'll go into my short script here and just copy and paste this. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a new item. We'll go short. We'll just do so you can see the difference here. So I'll just keep it like this for now so you can see with bigger bigger size what it looks like. Um, so now it's in there. And remember, the only thing I ever need to change is this number right here, but we'll just keep it the same for now. So then you hit commit and you hit OK. OK, so now I've got our short at 300. Let's just say we want to use a very wide stop. We don't think it's going to go back up to this level of consolidation at 31. And I'm not saying it would. This would be a horrible entry. Look at this, it's holding this 200, but let's just say I'm doing that. So I'm gonna double click on the chart, double click on the chart at 31, double click. Now that populates the stop and it does all the calculations for me. Now I hit Control L. Whoops, I didn't have the right 
thing in the montage, AMD. So let's do it just again. Double click. The price of 31, control L. Okay. So you see it filled me at 3073, which was the at which was the bid at that moment. Put in the stop at 31, which is the market stop. So let's do the math really quick. We have 30.73. The stop was 31. The shares was 1111. Look at that. If I am wrong, I am going to lose exactly 300. No, no miscalculations. It will get so very close. Okay. It's a wonderful, wonderful way to manage your risk. Now, always remember, this is not for everyone. Many people can be very successful with this, but I can guarantee you this. A lot of traders who have switched to this have vastly improved their trading. And just think why. There is no mental math needed to pick the right share size, to worry about what the bid and ask is. You have to worry about the slippage, but that's with everything. But this does all that for you. There's no worry about thinking you might have three winners and then one loser that is way bigger than that than those three winners because you re you calculated everything incorrectly or you mismanaged your risk this does it all for you it eliminates so many of the issues that a lot of traders struggle with that cause them to have bad trades or to cause them to get psychological issues when they do something stupid about not managing the risk correctly and then it leads to future poor trading. This eliminates that possibility. Now you can just hit this hockey again and again and again and go in two, three, four times. You can still mess with it. You can still go into your montage or use your old hotkeys. It doesn't guarantee that you, your behavior will change, but it will guarantee you a method to eliminate the behaviors that I just described. So it's a really, really great, wonderful thing. So shout out again to Kyle. Um, let me think if there's any other little nuances here that I want to mention. Um, yeah, there was one more about the buying power. Now, if you're trying to risk too much and your buying power won't allow you to get it and it ended up being like a less than intended risk, it's because you can only still go up to your buying power. So if you're trying to get 3,000 shares on something because your stop was so tight, it was a one cent stop and you were risking a little bit, and it, but it couldn't calculate the correct number that you would have wanted because it would have been over your buying power. Just note, it, it, this is a function of how much your buying power is. So sometimes you might get filled less than you intend if you're risking too much and the share size would be too large. But other than that, it's pretty fantastic. So I know you're going to have questions. Comment below. Thank you, Kyle. I mean, thank Kyle in your comment. Ask for questions. We'll get them all answered for you, traders. Yeah, I'm really excited to finally share this. Um, thank you all so much for watching.